everyone, so today I'm going to be making this popping cooking set which is the Taiyaki and Odango set and this is going to be a collaboration with my friend Anne, also known as Apricot Sushi. I'll leave a link to her video down below and also go check out her Instagram because her Instagram feed is so, so gorgeous. So we decided that we would do a Japanese themed popping cooking. So if you guys want to see another Japanese themed popping cooking, please go check out her video. So this is the Taiyaki and Odango set. And there is a ramen, a ichigo daifuku, a mitarashi dango, a chocolate cream taiyaki. And you can make this only using water and also a microwave. So this is what I'm going to be making today. So let's have a look at the instructions on the back. So basically you can just follow along with the instructions. They're pretty self-explanatory, but I will help you guys out if you have any questions. So let's get started making this Odango and Taiyaki set. Thank you. 
here is the finished result of the Taiyaki and Odango set. The set was actually really fun to make and it was fairly simple as well. So I thought I would try out some of the things now. Let's start off with the Ichigo Daifuku. So there's a little bit of the chocolate sauce on the inside and then also the strawberry is like a sort of jelly. Let's get my camera to focus. So yeah, I just wrapped the sort of like dango rice on the outside. So let's try it out. So the mochi was really nice. It was really nice and sticky and also the chocolate sauce probably tastes the best. Let's try out the taiyaki next. So I put this one in the microwave to sort of cook the biscuit. So let's try it. Just rip it in half. Oop, I don't think it's going to rip. Okay, there we go. That actually looked really satisfying. So let's try this one out. So the taiyaki also used the chocolate sauce on the inside, so it tasted really good. Sometimes popping cooking sets aren't the best, but this one is tasting amazing so far. So let's try out the mitarashi dango, and this is the one I'm a little bit skeptical about because I'm not a huge fan of like sweet soy sauce, so let's try this one out. So that one actually isn't that bad either. The soy sauce is actually really quite sweet. I was not expecting it to be that sweet, so it's actually not too bad. I thought it would have more of a soy sauce flavor. And of course the ramen just tastes like normal sort of soda flavor. So I really enjoyed making this set. This was a lot of fun to make and it tastes really good as well. I definitely recommend this one here. So don't forget to check out Anne's video, which I'll link in the description box below. Let me know if you've tried this popping cooking set and also which one is your favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.